Back for more wheel weight tips, eh? We'll crack open a cold Dr. Pepper and take a seat because we've got them, thanks to a recent tire review article by contributor Scott Blair. More tips on choosing the right wheel weights in your shop, next. In last week's video, we mainly focused on how different varieties of clip-on weights can cost technicians time, but stick-on weights also have their quirks. For example, crimped lead stick-on weights can take more time to separate, and they often don't look too great after only a short time on the wheel. Also keep in mind that it could actually be illegal in your state for techs to work with lead weights with their bare hands. Segmented steel weights, on the other hand, usually tear apart easily and can be repositioned if not placed perfectly on the first try, which can save your shop from throwing away an otherwise perfect weight. Another benefit of this style is that when it comes time to rebalance, technicians can typically quickly pry one or two segments to bring the assembly back into balance without having to pull the entire strip off and start over from scratch. If you offer free rotation and balance, doing this could potentially save your shop a ton of expense. Here are a few bonus wheel weight tips. One way to separate your shop from others is to cater to customers who have custom wheels or high-end sports cars. Not everyone carries weights like these. Also, stocking an assortment of colored wheel weights is a great opportunity to up your shop supply sales price. Put a line item together for something like specialty weights and add it to the invoice. You can do the same thing on chrome stick on weights. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.